Hi guys, um, this tutorial we're going to be looking at parallel lines in coordinate geometry. First of all, we're going to revise what is meant by parallel lines. Well, simply, parallel lines are lines that never meet. You would remember teachers talking about train tracks, but they're kind of like straight train tracks because they're straight lines. So in order to look at parallel lines in coordinate geometry, what we'll look at is our x and y axis, and look at a couple of straight lines on that x and y axis. So to start with, we're going to look at a green line that goes through the center. We're going to call that the graph of y equals, let's say, 2x. We're going to look at another line, we'll do that in blue, and we're going to call that the graph of y equals 2x minus 3. Okay. What I'm going to ask you is a question is, can you tell me what is the gradient of the green line? The gradient of the green line. Now hopefully you'll remember that all straight lines are in the form of y equals mx plus b and the m means the gradient the b stands for the y-intercept but the gradient is what we're concerned with and it's that value in front of the x so hopefully you'll have said well the gradient of the green line equals 2 so what would the gradient of the blue line be equal Hopefully, again, you said 2, just like the first one. Okay, hopefully now there should be some alarm bells going, going, hold on, something's happening here. Both of the gradients are equal. What does gradient mean? Well, gradient means the steepness of a line. Well, if we think about it, if they both have the same steepness, then they must both have the same gradient and that means they both are parallel. So obviously here if two lines are parallel then their gradients are the same and what we can actually say for, for a little rule is that M1 is equal to M2 if they are parallel. which means if we're told two lines are parallel then we automatically know their gradients are equal or if I know their gradients are equal we automatically know that they're parallel. Let's have a quick look at a question. Sorry about that. Okay. So EG1. are the lines 3x plus 4 equals y and 3x minus 2 equals y parallel. Okay, well, first of all, we want to look at the formula y equals mx plus b. They both have to be in the same format and actually they are. If I just put the y on the other side there you can see they're both in the same format. y equals 3x plus 4, y equals 3x minus 2. So let's have a look at the gradients. We have a gradient of 3, we have another gradient of 3. So we can say m1 equals m2 equals 3. Therefore, they are parallel. Simple as that. Not too hard, is it? Just got to make sure, though, that they're in the same format, y equals mx plus b, before we can compare them. Okay, second question they can ask us. E.g. 2. What is the equation of a line with a y-intercept 
of 4 and is parallel to the line y equals 2x minus 4. Okay, in this question we're asked to find the equation of the straight line. So all equations are y equals mx plus b. In order to write any equation, we need to know what the gradient is. We need to know what the y-intercept is. So let's first look. We can see one piece of information, and that is the y-intercept. So we'll automatically know that it's going to be y equals something x plus 4. I then need to figure out then what's the gradient going to be. Well, the next point of information is it's parallel to the line y equals 2x minus 4. Well, we automatically know that if they're parallel, we know that m1 is equal to m2, or their gradients are exactly the same. We're looking for the gradient, so if they're parallel, the gradient must be the same, therefore the gradient must equal 2. So my very last step, as I rewrite the equation, y equals 2x plus 4. Bob Drunkle. Hope you found this useful. Have a crack at some questions.